Hello, my name is Tracy and I'd like to show you how to decorate some pots. This project has been funded by the Arts Council Emergency Response Funds Grant supported by National Lottery Players. So thank you to them for making this project possible. So let's get started. So first of all, you're going to need terracotta pots. You might have got some lying around in the garden. Please ask permission first before you take anything out of the garden. Wash and clean them so you could use those. If you don't have terracotta pots, you can also use plastic plant pots. You can get these available now from local DIY stores. You're going to need some acrylic paints, which is what I've used on this project. You can also use, if you don't have acrylic paints, but you've got some poster paints, already mixed paints at home. You can also use felt tips, but bear in mind at the end of this project, we are going to varnish these pots if you want them to go outside. And felt tips will smudge once you've used the varnish on it. You will also need a selection of paint brushes. You will need a little palette. I find these absolutely fantastic that have been left over from food packaging because you can throw them away when you've finished. You will need a pencil. You'll need a jar of water. I always use tissue as well, just to wipe off my brushes. And then if you're going to put the pots outside, you will need some varnish. This is children's varnish and I did actually manage to get this from Hobbycraft. The next step is to paint your plant pot. So cover the surface that you're working on. You might also want to put some protective clothing on, an old shirt or an apron. Acrylic paint into the container and paintbrush. And we're just going to cover the whole of the paint pot. Now I've used two coats on this. The first coat does go a little bit patchy. So once we've covered the whole pot, we're going to leave that to dry and then we add a second coat. When the plant pot's fully dry, you can then start to design. You can draw anything that you want to. It could be one of your favourite characters. It could be shapes, patterns, just lots of colours, anything that you want to. On this one, I'm going to draw some ladybirds with a leaf. So just a simple design on here. You can just draw your little ladybird. And then on here, just to outline in pencil, the shape of a leaf. So when the plant pot was designed and painted on, you can see the finished pot here. I decided to paint the rim in green. You can see the ladybirds. I've got one sitting on a leaf. I decided to go around it in black just to define the leaf a little bit more. And you can see how simple but lovely and effective that that pot's come out. So one of the ideas that I had with the pots after we've painted them is to fill this one with compost. So ordinary garden compost, we're just going to put a little bit into the pot and I'm going to fill it up to the rim. And then I was quite lucky that I do have some seeds lying around in the house. So I have used some curly cress and I'm just going to sprinkle a few of them on top of the compost. A little bit more compost on the top just to sprinkling. There is a little label that came with this, so I'm going to pop that in there. I'm going to put that into a saucer, put some water into it and let that sit on my windowsill until the little seeds start to sprout. Another idea that I had was to paint this Ninja Turtle onto it. So you can see it was all done in green. I painted a blue bandana across and then it's got a lovely little smiley face with his eyes and eyebrows. So what I thought I'd do with this is that it would be really useful to keep all your pens and pencils and bits into it. Or I could keep art materials in it, just little spatulas and paint brushes. So that's useful as a container. You could also give it to somebody as a present. This one started off as a plain white pot. And then I decided to put the, the lovable character Olaf on the front because of his lovely smiley mouth. So with this one, you could just put some tissue paper, scrunch it up into the bottom and then fill it with sweets and chocolates or something like that. You could also put some toiletries into it or something really personal to the person that you're actually going to give it to as a present. So now I'm just going to show you how to varnish the pots, especially if you decided to put them outside so it'll protect it from the weather. 
So you get your varnish. We're just going to shake it up a little bit to mix it. Just pop it into a container. Use a brush and we're just going to put varnish onto the pot. Now this varnish is actually a water-based varnish. So it is friendly and you're just going to give a coat onto the pot and leave it to dry. It might need two coats, but please make sure that you do wash your brush because it will dry quite stiff into the brush and spoil it. So that is how you would coat your pot. Another idea that I'd had that you can create from your plant pots is a little fairy house. And with this, all you need to do is turn the pot the other way around. So I painted the rim in green. I graduated the colour from light blue to dark blue. And then on the front, I've just done a little door and little windows with shutters. A few flowers across the bottom, little rambling rows at the front of the pot. Now, sometimes with plant pots, you can actually get a little tray for it to sit into. And I did happen to have one lying in my garden. So I've painted that as well after cleaning it. And this is what it looks like. So that just sits on the top. So I've painted that in bright orange with little white spots on it for the top of the fairy house. And with this, if it's going to go outside, you will need to varnish it. But if it sits in your house, then you don't need to. And I'll show you how to create this. So to begin with, we're going to cover the table, get everything ready, get your white acrylic and we're just going to put a little bit out onto a plastic wallet so that we can throw that away afterwards. And all I'm going to do on this is just actually give the plant pot a base coat of white acrylic. For this particular project, you might only need the one coat. It probably will be enough. So we're going to fully cover it on the rim as well and put that to one side when it's fully coated and leave that to dry. So I've got my paint pot that I've given one coat of white acrylic covered my table and I've got my paints ready. So with this, I've got green acrylic and I'm just going to paint the rim of the plant pot. And it's probably going to need two coats of paint. So just for now, we'll cover it all up in the one and I'm going to leave that to one side to dry. So now the paint pot's dry and I've actually given it two coats of the green, I'm going to paint it in blue. So I'm going to go lighter blue at the bottom, darker blue at the top. And the way that I'm going to do this, I've mixed up blue and I've added some white to it. So it's much, much lighter at the bottom. So here goes. So we're going to start painting the blue. And you can paint that all the way around. And then to get it to go darker, all I've done is gone straight into the darker blue. I haven't worried too much about cleaning the brush and you get this really, really nice effect on it. So it goes from a light blue to a dark blue. And again, we're going to go all the way around the pot and we're going to leave that to dry. OK, so our plant pot's now lovely and dried and I've actually done the top of it as well. So we can get started on the design. So all I'm going to do for mine is just a little archway for the door. And this is just to show you how to get some ideas. A little archway for the door, two little archways for the window. And I've just marked them in lightly. So you've got a bit of a guideline so you can see where you're going. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can. Um, just says that you've got a bit of a guideline to work to. So now we've painted our windows and doors on and what I did is used a couple of browns and a yellow and I've just mixed it together to give the effect of wood. And then I've gone round it in a darker brown colour to give it more definition. And now all I'm going to do is get a darker colour and I'm just going to paint onto the door a line and then a line at the side of it that kind of comes out and back just to give the impression of the wood grain. 
okay and you can do that on both sides of the door and your windows you can also do open windows you can put curtains on there make them in yellow to make it look like the light shining through and then when you've done that we put our finishing touches on you don't have to put flowers on or roses you could actually put stars and moons anything you want to you could have some little steps up to the front here and then complete with the roof you've got your little fairy house so i'd just like to show you how they all look now that they're finished and they're all lined up together and how really effective they look and what are the different ideas that you can do with them. So I hope I've inspired you to get creative and design some pots of your own or make them for presents for somebody. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.